What is AI and how does AI work? What are the main types of AI and what the hell is machine learning that everyone is talking about? Watch the video to the end to discover how to make neural network, deep learning and NLP work for your product. I'm Andriy Sambir from LinkUp Studio and now we are going to dot the I's and cross the T's on all of these concepts based on our team's experience. Let's dive in. In essence, artificial intelligence is about creating algorithms that enable computers to perform tasks that would normally require human intelligence. These are tasks like recognizing speech, interpreting data, making decisions, translating languages and others. There are two main types of artificial intelligence, general AI and narrow AI. General AI is not made yet and its concept is now rather theoretical. It is the type of AI that would be equipped to handle any intellectual task that a human can. A hypothetical example would be imaginary AI health assistant robot that could not only analyze medical disease or diagnose diseases only by would only understanding emotional pathological states of patient and would offer holistic healthcare advice like highly skilled physician. Now we'll focus on the existing type of narrow AI. How do AI algorithms work here? Such AI solutions operate within a limited specific context and simulate human intelligence in specific tasks. Think of it like an ex expert chess player that can't play poker or other board games. Such AI solutions are designed to perform a single task. There are voice assistants like Siri or Google Assistant. These tools are programmed to understand and respond to specific voice commands. They can perform tasks like playing music, setting reminders or answering factual questions by a limited to a program responses and tasks. Another type of narrow AI are recommendation systems like those and Netflix or Amazon. This system analyzes users' best behavior, such as previous purchases or watch shows, and use that data to suggest or recommend new products or movies. One more example is email spam filters, which use AI to filter out spam. AI systems learn to identify which emails are spam and which are not based on certain characteristics of the email. Another very popular example is AI chatbots. How does AI chat work? It is programmed to simulate expert conversation and provide users with answer to their questions. However, chatbots may struggle with understanding and responding to queries that are off script or complex. At LinkUp Studio, we made an AI and hates group meal planning tool. If you are interested in the creating your own AI solution, reach out to our team. How do all these complex AI systems work? By machine learning. This technology allows computers to learn from data and make decisions based on it. At the heart of machine learning there are algorithms. Essentially, those are specific sets of rules and process which a machine follows on problems solving operation. AI algorithms work based on the training data, that is the information or data set from which the learning algorithm learns. The quality, diversity and volume of the data directly impact the performance of the machine learning model. At LinkUp Studio, we created an AI-based app that helps to identify skin diseases, skin spotter. For this, we use the training data from the International Skill Imaging Collaboration with over 2,000 photos of various skin diseases. This helped the AI system to better identify potential skin problems based on user images of their skin diseases. Let's talk about the main types of learning. The first one is supervised learning. Here, models are trained on labor data sets. They learn to predict outcomes based on past examples. As in the earlier discussed example, spam filters in email services are trained on the data set where some emails are labeled as spam and others as, as not spam. This way, incoming emails are classified based on this training. The next type is unsupervised learning, in which models are trained or unlabeled data to discover underlying patterns and group links. For instance, with that type of training, healthcare organization may understand the common characteristics and risk factors of patients within each certain group of patients and develop preventive strategies for those patients who may be at risk but have not yet developed the symptoms. Another type of learning is reinforcement learning. Such models learn to make decisions when they perform actions and receive reward or penalties. A good example of it 
is technology working with autonomous vehicles, where AI algorithms are trained to react accordingly to the various and expected road situations that occurred in simulations. After attaining a certain level of proficiency, the algorithms are in the refined, tested and then used in real life. If you have an idea for creating or incorporating AI into existing the product, get in touch with our experts. We'll assist you in achieving this with the best efficiency. A neural network is a computing system which is also inspired by the human brain. It's made up of the special units of neurons that process information. These units are arranged in layers. The complex version of neural networks with many layers is called deep learning. With deep learning technique, systems can learn from large volumes of data, tackle more complex tasks. In the above mentioned example of voice assistance, this technology uses deep learning to understand spoken language, they convert the spoken words into text, interpret the meaning and then perform actions based on the interpretation. It works similarly in our skin spotter application. The system scans the photo, identifies patterns in customer images and may be indicative of diseases or medical conditions based on its training data and then gives the result which is comparable or maybe even exceeding that of human experts. NLP or natural language processing is a field at the intersection of the computer science, artificial intelligence and linguistic. It deals with enable computers to understand, interpret and respond to human language in meaningful and useful way. NLP involves a few steps and components. The first is text processing. In the initial step where the system processes raw text, it includes such tasks like tokenization, which is breaking text into words, or phrases, taking someone part of speech and person. Then NLP system understands the context and semantics in order to understand the intended meaning behind the words. And the last component of NLP is machine learning, which is used for complex tasks like sentimental analysis or language translation. We worked with similar technology in the Reverso Documents Translation System part. There are the system analyzed and translate text from one language to another with the understanding of grammatic structures and the context. Additionally, NLP is used in AI chatbots, which are designed to understand natural human language and provide helpful information or assistance in their responses. Reach out to me and our team can provide you with the research-based hypothesis of how NLP or AI can enhance your business. Next, how to work with AI. When implementing AI, you may face some challenges that you need to consider. The first is problem with data quality. Make sure the training data for your AI system is reliable and truthful. Even if the technology performs well, the result still won't be satisfying in case the data quality is overlooked. The next issue is data biases. This happens when data used to teach an AI system isn't diverse enough. For example, some facial recognition systems have been criticized because they were mostly trained with pictures of people from specific ethnic backgrounds. As a result, AI wasn't as good as recognizing people from groups that weren't represented in its training data. One more possible problem is technical requirements to maintain the AI system. The cost of hardware and energy definitely varies depending on the scale of your business and the respective AI needs. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope it has given you the idea of the types of AI and how AI works from explaining technical experts. Ask me in the comment and hit the like and subscribe button to hear more insights about generative AI or its other types, digital products design and development from me and colleagues and LeapCap Studio.